a before of our kitchen. I live in a rented property and I did not like the grey surfaces. I wanted a much brighter, fresher look. So this is how it looked previously. First thing you want to do is wipe down your surfaces. So give them a good clean down and then also dry them. You don't want any dirt or dust. Rolled out the marble vinyl to make sure it was the right length and then cut off any excess. I don't want too much, it will get in the way. Next, I measured out the square for the hobs. Now when you put this on the floor on the reverse, remember you're on the reverse, so make sure you have the measurements the right way round. So when you flip it back on, check that it fits. I also left extra just so I didn't have the hole too short. I started peeling the backing off the vinyl. I started to stick it down on the surface and slowly with a card, I smoothed out any bubbles. I then did this all around and just slowly smoothed out right up to the surfaces. For the edges, I used my hands, pulled it round and then for the underneath, I used the card and I smoothed it under there. Moving on to the next countertops, these were so much easier because I didn't have to cut any bits out, it was just one smooth, simple surface. Again, just pulling back the paper, smoothing it out, doing it piece by piece, section by section, going really slowly and really carefully, making sure you have a perfect, smooth, bubble-free finish. I just cut off a little bit so it would go round easily. For the edges, I just really pushed the card in and this cut into the paper. But be careful you're not using a bank card because this does actually melt the corners of the card, I realised. Again, you should know this by now, just simply smoothing it out for the edges, pulling it round and look at this beautiful finish. So here is a before and after. The hardest area and the bit I didn't actually film was around the sink. It was so fiddly going around the pipes. Around the sink wasn't too bad, but I managed to do it. Doing little switch ups with the soap dispenser there with a Jägermeister. Moving things around and making it just look a bit more presentable. So I hid all the herbs in a drawer and then selected bits I wanted out. I then dressed the space with some nice bits and pieces, some copper, gold finishes and also plants. I also switched out the hand towels and oven gloves for a more minimal black look. For the other spaces I added again in more plants to give more life and also put some herbs into these IKEA things. Placing a few more copper accents and turning cookbooks around the other way for a more clutter free look. For this section I strategically placed a plant to cover up the plugs. I then had nice accents with the cups and also created a little breakfast bar area with a stool to the side. You have to be really careful with heat on these surfaces so getting yourself a trivet works really well. Even when making tea I now put that on a surface because it was also affecting the marble countertop. So I did have a little move around again adding more copper accents with the set and also the cookbook stand. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you love how it all turned out. <laughs>